hey guys welcome back in code sphere so today in this video i will show you that uh, when you will click on this image so it will open in a new activity so you can see that the image is now open in a new activity and here you can also see my name and with these two options that edit and delete image fine and uh, then guys when you will click on this website so you can see that the link will open in a browser fine guys so you can see that this is our channels link and now it is open fine so today in this tutorial i will show you that how you can do this so without wasting time let's start so guys first of all what we will do is uh, you can see that this is our app social media app so guys here first of all we will create an activity and uh, that will be completely an mpt activity fine so simply click on this package name and then we will select new and then activity and then we will go on mpt activity fine and uh, guys we will give this activity image activity because we will expand the image fine so simply write image activity fine then enter so guys you can see that the gradle build is now complete so we can proceed fine so first of all we will go in this uh, fragment one and uh, here guys you have to make this image view clickable and uh, i don't remember that uh, maybe we have made it already so you can see that it is already clickable fine guys and you also have to remember this id in your mind because you will need it fine so guys after this what you have to do is simply go simply go in this fragment one and uh, here guys what we will do is uh, we have this image view fine so you can see that this image view and it is uh, id is here fine so here you have to write a few lines of code so here first of all i will write is image view and dot set on click system method fine and then pass this and uh, after this guys we will come inside this uh, on click method and here we will simply copy this case and uh, break fine and then simply paste it here done but you have to remove the codes between this one and uh, yeah you have to also change the id and that will be iv f1 because it is an image view in fragment one so we can say iv f1 and then after this simply write intent then intent equals to new intent and uh, that is going to be get activity not get context get activity image activity dot class then start we have to pass it and uh, then guys after this one more thing that here you have to do is simply go in this uh, fragment one and guys uh, i don't know that if you remember or not that we have also made this uh, website clickable fine so you can see that it is clickable so when the user will click on it so we will open it fine so here what you have to do is simply copy this codes again and before copying these codes one more thing you have to do here is you can see that this is a website et and here what you have to do is again simply write website et fine then set on click system method and you have to write this fine and then guys after this you have to simply copy this codes control plus c and then paste it here but this time we will not use this intent we will use a different of intent i mean we will use a different intent so simply here write is a tv tv web f1 fine so you can see that this is id here fine so guys make sure these ids are correct make sure these ids are correct so if it will be wrong so it will create problem fine guys so after this what i'm going to do is you can see that this is here so first of all we will surround it with try and catch because guys what happens that if the url is wrong so it can cause runtime crashing fine so for avoiding it i'm surrounding it with try and catch so if the url is valid so it will open the open the url and if it is wrong then it will show a toast message fine so that is why guys i will recommend you to paste a valid link fine so simply write here is a string and uh, that is going to be url and url will be website et dot get text dot to string fine then semicolon and here we are going to use is intent then intent then intent to equals to new intent fine and uh, here you have to write intent dot action view done then semicolon and then here you have to write uh, intent to fine guys then dot set data and data is going to be uri fine then dot parse you're gonna pass the url done 
then semicolon then start activity oops start activity intent to fine guys so now you can see that our codes are pretty fine so after this you have to code inside this uh, that if there is any error then what we will do so we will simply show a toast message that get activity and that will be please invalid url yeah so that is fine i think invalid url fine guys so after this we can proceed so guys after this we will come in this fragment i mean in this image activity and uh, we have to create this layout file done so guys here first of all i will change this parent layout to linear layout and uh, then orientation is going to be vertical fine guys and here we will simply use a text view and that is going to be match parent height will be wrap content and text is going to be uh you can give name fine and then id is going to be tv and uh, id is going to be tv underscore name fine underscore image then guys after this what here you have to do is text size that is going to be 24 sp and uh, text size text color is going to be android uh, color white and why i'm making it white because i will make this layout background and that is going to be android black fine guys so after this we can proceed and i will give a little bit of margin here so simply give margin that is going to be 10 dp then guys so 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 it will make the borders white so i think i should give padding and padding will not make it yeah so that's fine so guys after this here i'm going to use a simple image view and that is going to be image view height will be match parent and uh, it will be 400 dp i think that's fine then id is going to be iv underscore expand fine because we will expand that image and uh, then we are going to do is uh, scale type and that is going to be center crop done guys then simply close it and then after this here we will have two buttons and uh, that will be match parent height will be wrap content and text is going to be that uh, edit fine and uh, id is going to be btn underscore edit underscore iv fine and uh, then background is going to be button back fine and uh, text color is going to be android white color fine then text size is going to be 20 sp so it will look uh, pretty much better fine guys so after this you can see that we have this button so you have to simply copy this button from here and then guys simply paste it but we have to change this uh, photo i mean we have to change this text fine so you can give uh, delete image or you can give button delete iv fine so yeah we can understand and uh, then guys you can give margin top and that is going to be only 10 dp that's fine so yeah so after this guys we can go in this main activity image activity and here first of all i will declare variables so that is going to be for image view fine image view then semicolon then text view and that is for uh, text view fine and then buttons so button btn edit btn delete fine and uh, then guys uh, i think that is all we are using so guys after this we have to give reference inside this so simply write button delete equals to find view by id r dot id dot btn delete iv semicolon then btn edit equals to find view by id r dot id dot edit btn edit iv fine guys and after this simply write image view and that is going to be equals to find you by id r dot id dot iv underscore expand fine and uh, then text view and that is going to be equals to find you by id r dot id dot tv underscore uh, name image so let me check the id so tv tv name image yeah it's correct fine guys so after this what we can do is uh, so now we have given the reference so here you have to write is firebase user user equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user then a string and that is going to be current id equals to user dot get uid fine guys then after this here you have to write 
is uh, yeah so here you have to write document reference reference fine and uh, declare a string that is going to be url fine guys so after this you have to again write firebase firestore db equals to firebase firestore dot get instance done guys and after this come after this user id and then here you have to write this reference and that is going to be db dot collection that is going to be user fine guys and then document will be the current id that we are just driving above this line fine guys and after this simply write button btn edit dot set on click system method new that on click system method fine so we will handle these item clicks in next tutorial fine so now for now we will have uh, only buttons fine so simply write btn delete dot set on click system method new that on click system method done guys so now you can see that we will handle these things later so after this guys here you have to write is on start and when the activity will start so we will retrieve the data fine guys so here what you can do is simply write reference dot get and that is going to be add on complete listener fine new on complete listener done guys so here what we will do is uh, if task dot get result dot exist so we will retrieve the data fine so simply we will retrieve the string and that will be name and name is going to be task dot get result dot get string and that will be name done then again url equals to and you may be thinking that guys why i'm declaring that url above so there is a reason i will explain it later you will understand with uh, the tutorials fine so after this here you have to do is simply write picasso dot get dot load url into image view fine and uh, then text view dot set text and that is going to be name fine guys so now i can see that and uh, else that if there is no data so you can say that no profile profile fine so guys after this you can see that our coding part is almost complete so now we can run the app and see is it working or not so guys when i will click on this image view so it will open in a new activity so guys you can see that the app is running the app is working absolutely fine you can see that there is no error and uh, these are the small things that we can improve fine but uh, it is working pretty fine fine guys and after this guys you can see that we have also implemented this website so if i will click on this so it will open our channel fine so you can see that the intent is working pretty fine so you can see that our channel will be here fine you can see that this is my latest video i have uploaded so guys uh, you can see that the app is working pretty fine so for these two things what we can do is simply open this activity image and uh, you have to give the margin bottom and that will be 20 dp fine so it will solve the problem 20 dp done guys so after this one more thing that you have to do is go in this uh, manifest file and uh, we have to uh, simply do is uh, image activity and uh, we are going to give the theme and that will be theme no action bar fine guys so now i will not run the app you can understand it what will be the output so guys if you like this video then please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching